Okay, well, my first interesting discovery, this guy's pretty small. He's probably edible. A big thing in mushroom hunting is finding mushrooms that are not poisonous. Many are poisonous, but most of these types of mushrooms with the uh, pores on the bottom as opposed to the gill type slits, these are usually edible mushrooms, but I do not know which variety this is. And he's only about the size of a quarter, so maybe an inch or so in the top there. So, first time I've seen this type of mushroom, it, it's almost like a bolete. Well, no, it's not a bolete shape, but with the pour, pores on the bottom, it's um, probably likely an edible variety. No idea what it is though. And not enough of them to make a, a batch to try out and so I think I'm just gonna leave this guy. The other interesting thing is over the years it's been my gift to find false morels when I'm out here in the woods and man oh man did I just come up on a nice pile of them. These some people will eat these and the common name on these are beefsteak but uh, another name for them is uh, false morel and you can see we found a really nice batch here and the thing is uh, they're big enough they're large enough that uh, you know one nice mushroom here will make a, a nice meal but it's a matter of whether or not you want to take a chance on the uh, the toxin that this mushroom produces uh, some the folks that call these beef steaks say they're good they're edible go ahead and the write-ups I've read on these guys are that um, it's it, it's kind of a situation where you can get too much of the toxin built up in you so I've never personally eaten them probably got plenty of room to try to add some Eurometra I think is the is the scientific name toxin to my diet but I guess I'll just leave them so today I'm scoring on false morels but not finding any any mushrooms that uh, are gonna be fried up in my pan today with butter today is May 5th and the year is 2019 and um, yeah <laughs>